YouTube, YouTube, welcome to Verb One, and I'm your host, Big Verb, aka Scale underscore Nation on Twitter. Uh, I want to thank everybody for checking the channel out, man. If you're new, please like, please subscribe, and always come check me out with that notification bell. Today, we're talking about the Miami Dolphins here. We talk about Florida sports most of the time, mainly the Miami Dolphins, the Miami Hurricanes, the Miami Heat. Okay, uh, today, we're going to talk about the Senior Bowl, you know, quickly and talk about the Dolphins' possibilities of hiring Ken Dorsey. Now, it's possible that the Miami Dolphins could be trading for. Uh, for Deshaun, you know, it's, 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 it's came out that he's made it official that he's wanting to be traded. And that's been going on for a couple weeks, but they finally made it official. The same that the Texans hired a coach. Uh, Deshaun said he don't want nothing to do with it. The coach that they just hired for the Texans is like 65. They're trying to make it a relationship thing, but, you know, it doesn't look like any future with a coach that's that old. Deshaun said that he really wants to come to Miami, and then he flipped it and said he wants to come to the Jets. I kind of think the Jets are a little bit of a bait up because I think the Jets will be a project for Deshaun. It's not uh, too too much help on both sides of the ball there, but the Jets have the picks. And one thing about the Miami Dolphins is that, you know, it's, it's weapons there already with Gusecki and, and Devontae Parker and et cetera, et cetera. I do think they'll probably be able to get them a running back uh, with that 18 pick if they don't have to give that up as well for Deshaun. They'd also, they also have a defense. The Dolphins have, you know, a couple good corners and they got some, you know, transcending defensive players. Uh, I think that the Jets news was thrown out to debate the Dolphins up to speed them up, throw a little fire under and let them know, like, look, if you don't trade me, I'm going to come to your division. And I do think that that's a serious threat. You get what I'm saying? The Dolphins are going to need to uh, up their defense. You know, it's going to be tough to, to, to battle in that division because the Patriots are going to get better and the Jets will be better if he makes that move. Today in the Senior Bowl, you see Nick Saban chopping it up with... Um, with uh, Chris Greer and chopping it up with Flores. I guess he's trying to check the temperature on the team as far as, you know, his prospects with Smith and Najee Harris out there at the Senior Bowl. And they, they are being interviewed by the Dolphins. And uh, he wants to also figure out, I guess, what Tua's situation is going to look like, you know, pending the trade or pending the situation. And are they interested? I think that, you know, um, Nick Saban being interested is, is, is cool. I think it's great for players to have coaches that are, you know, uh, passionate about them or also just trying to, you know, get insight. I think the Dolphins made a very, very serious gamble when they drafted Tua. And I think that they have the right to make the decision with what they want to do as far as the Deshaun Watson situation. Uh, drafting Tua 5 over Herbert, you know, that was, um, you know, that was a, a, a real gamble, seeing that Tua had the injury history that he had. Um, also, Seeing that the Dolphins have so many first round and so many second round picks, and a couple of them do belong to the Texans, I think that puts them in the front of the race, you know, as far as being candidates for Deshaun Watson. Uh, seeing that the Dolphins haven't hired their offensive coordinator, I think that drafting or uh, well, signing uh, Channing Fry, Charlie Fry was a big statement, saying that they want to, you know, tie things to Ken Dorsey, Ken Dorsey being a, a former teammate of his, and also, you know, picking him and, and bringing him to the senior bowl without even having the offensive coordinator. It could mean that they already have the offensive coordinator on staff, and it also could mean that they all are waiting on their, their guy. So uh, Ken Dorsey is not out the, out the race. Uh, I just seen it today uh, that the Bills are, are kind of putting it out there that the Dolphins could be uh, bringing Dorsey in from their camp. So I want to say, uh, you know, I really hope that Ken Dorsey comes over to Miami. I wanted him to be the head coach of the Miami Hurricanes, but if he's going to stay on the NFL level, what better better spot than to be here in sunny Miami? So um, we're, we're excited about that, and that information is not over. It's not dead yet. So I just want to thank all you Finn fans for checking out the channel, and I also want to let you guys know that um, Ken Dorsey has been the quarterback coach for uh, – he was Ken, Cam Newton, and also he was a quarterback coach last year for uh, Josh Allen. So we got a lot to look forward to if that's becoming a situation or if that's turning out to be uh, an actual situation. So we're excited about that, Finn fans. And um, I want to you know, let everybody know to check out the channel, man, and also keep me locked in. You know, Tell a friend to tell a friend to check out Verbal One. And, man, it's a new show. It's jumping out. I got a couple of interviews coming. I got some exciting things popping off, and I appreciate you. I'm giving you all I got. You already know. Verbal warning. Big Bird.